Hey guys, welcome back. It's Lori with Simple Suburban Homestead. I wanted to show you guys that you can do this living in a neighborhood as long as your um, city allows for chickens. This is my chicken setup. I am standing right directly on the back side of my glass room on my house. So here is my granddaughter's rabbit and her tortoise. Sorry, there's an airplane going over. There's my chicken coop. Inside that coop, it has three um, laying areas the roofs for them to perch on at night and then it's connected to um, a little run that we bought off of Amazon inside of this run we also have one of our quail coops that my husband had built girls y'all so noisy there's my three beautiful hens this is a quail that I have um, we got it off of Living Traditions Homestead on YouTube um, Kevin built these. They're wonderful. Um, this one hasn't been used in a while. Um, I would need to take it out and wash it good before I put anybody in it. It's cobby from the cobwebs. Um, we did put a J feeder on this trying to save quail food. However, mm, yeah, it didn't work so well. And then this is my quail aviary that I intend to take the tarp off the top and change it. This one's about a year old and it's just kind of grubby looking. But we have a water feeder in there that's gravity. And we have another pen inside here, I don't know if you can see or not, that my husband built. I also have the specifications for this one off of YouTube. It's a three layer and it has the pans under each layer, um, the poop pans. And we did have to cut it down a little bit to fit it into this aviary. Um, right now we have our baby chicks in here that are about 10 weeks old. They're in the dog kennel right now, I guess roosting or laying. I just fed them some mealworms so they're happy. But this is literally how we do it in the neighborhood. It works for us. It can be done. We do not eat the rabbit. The, we don't raise rabbits for meat. Um, he's He is a pet. Um, we don't raise chickens, none of our hens. Um, they're for eggs only. However, we have done meat birds in the past, and I will be getting some more meat bird chicks um, this month on the 17th. And we normally leave the meat birds on the ground in the quail pen, and they fatten meat birds are amazing. Um, here in Florida, uh, they are kind of a stinky bird um, if it's hot. So they produce a lot of poop and they eat a lot of food. But um, we're gonna try to get them. They're butchered at about six to eight weeks old um, and they make wonderful meat. If you've never eaten a meat bird, um, you'll never want to eat meat from the grocery store again once you have it. They're really, really good birds. Um, so they're gonna be moving back out here. My quail that are in the brooder in the garage and in the brooder in the house, all the babies will be moving to the garage in my hatching time pen. And then this brooder out here, if I should need it for extra ruse, um, I mean this pen out here, my husband can pull it out. We can pressure wash it real fast. We could put ruse in that one. And then also the one in the aviary, the wooden one, we could put, um, we could use any of these for hospital. I have just recently, um, before I sold all my quail a couple weeks back, um, had one that somebody had pecked on it pretty hard. It was down on the ground. They were all loose in the aviary. Um, and we did enclose the aviary around the outsides with, um, just this lattice and then on the back my husband put a piece of plywood the birds can see out but if there's cats in the yard at night or possums or anything like that um, they don't seem to be as bothered quail are temperamental about laying eggs if they're startled if they're scared um, if you change their environment they will not lay eggs for you for about 7 to 14 days 
So you want to keep your quail happy and content um, to keep your eggs flowing. I always tell people when they buy quail from me, if they're egg laying at the time, not to expect eggs for at least a week and a half to two weeks from the time they move them from my property to theirs. Um, so anyhow, the dog kennel in the bottom of the aviary is for the baby chicks. There's a perch in it and it's got a heat source in the bottom. So they go in there at nighttime. Um, so anyway, that's, that's kind of our little setup out here in my backyard. Um, like I said, there's my house. So it is doable. It is fun. I love to sit in my glass room and hear my birds. And Delilah Grace is squawking a good bit today, so she must be getting ready to lay an egg. But anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this, and I'll bring you more content when I can. Thank you. Have a blessed day.